Hello guys, this is Eric Maisonet. I'm from Puerto Rico. I'm 32 years old and I'm traveling from Alaska to Argentina. That's the mission for the, for the following uh, next two years in my converted truck, Valentina. Let's start with the kitchen. Welcome to Valentina's kitchen. So here I have regular, you know, faucet. So this faucet sometimes I can use it as an outdoor shower or if I came, I come uh, duty from the outside. So I can use this on the outside to clean my shoes or maybe me, so I'm a little bit salty if I was on the beach or something. So a soap dispenser and then here below the sink, I have, you know, the messy area. I have my small trash can, I have my potable stove, propane, I have some uh, cleaning products, I have my some personal products like my tooth, uh, toothbrush and my toothpaste and stuff. At the beginning, uh, this desk, I thought just to buy a simple one, but when I saw these countertops, I fell in love with it, uh, this piece of wood because of the details of the wood. I said, I have to have this on Valentina. So I bought this, so it's four separate uh, pieces of, of a countertop. We put some clear and we got this shiny, beautiful look in the kitchen. The backsplash in the kitchen is a, a sticker one. So we decided to go wide because like I said, I fell in love with the countertop. So I didn't want too much, I would say, noise here in the kitchen. So I went all the way uh, white. So on that way, we pay attention more to the countertop. So what I, I did is I add a little bit of decoration with this uh, uh, paint wall here. And the most important thing in the kitchen is the fridge. So this is my fridge and freezer, it's both. So what I do to use my fridge and freezer is just I put out this drawer it comes all the way out so and on that way i have access to my fridge and freezer so here we have some upper cabinet so we're still in the kitchen here i have like some uh, food and here i have my cups and blenders and my coffee maker is what i have in here i'm a simple guy so i don't have too many stuff so this is what I will say from the kitchen area. Now switching to this side, we have my bedroom. So first thing you will see in my bedroom is my closet. Sorry for the mess, but it's a closet. So that I have all my clothes. So I have a uh, full space for my jeans and my pants, t-shirts, some hat, some pillows and everything in there. And down there is my electrical system. What give power to that um, battery. I have two solar panels on the roof. They are 160 watt each, which that means that's a 320 watt in total. So that's what I have for energy. With that, I charge uh, that battery. That battery also have the option to connect your uh, car battery to the lithium battery. So when you are driving, you can also charge that uh, solar battery too. So that's what I use for my solar system. My toilet is below the bed. It's just a portable toilet. So something simple, you know, it's just for emergency, emergency cases. So it's just a regular toilet. You put it out. And so here I have some bags and some wipes, but yeah, this is my fancy toilet. So if I need it sometime, or if I need it one time, I just put it out and I use it. But like I said, I just have this toilet for uh, emergency cases. Normally, when you are driving, you are always close to a fast food or to a gym or to a gas station. But if nature calls, it's down there for me. And now let's go to my bed. This is my bedroom. So here I have a uh, six inches memory foam. This, this bed is bigger than a twin, but smaller than a queen. So it's like customized. So we cut the memory foam. 
But anyway, two person can sleep easier here. So another thing you see on my bedroom is the TV. So if I'm in a rainy day or something is happening or maybe I'm just tired, I, I can have and I can watch Netflix or YouTube so I can have my uh, watch my movies there. So I have a 24 inches TV, smart TV. And another thing I have in my bedroom is my books. I love reading so I said I have to have my books with me so I put them on that top top shelf so on that way I carry my my books with me and then I put just those uh, curtains there just part of the decoration that's something that we took uh, in consideration you know everything here is uh, very well planned you know talking about decorations so all the details uh, I had a guy who helped me with that he's um, a realtor so he's every time uh, um, surrounded by houses and how to decorate so he helped me with this and he did a great job you know it's a homey decoration so we have a, a, a paint behind my bed and yeah, that's everything about my, my bedroom. The reason for doing bad life come from actually different reasons. You know, uh, like I said at the beginning, I'm 30, 32 years old. And like most part of the people I was in the, in the same path, I would say, looking for being successful and everything. And being from Puerto Rico, we are able to work since we have 16 years old. I believe it's the same here, right? Anyway, the, po the point is I have been working since the 16 uh, years old looking for this success and it's not like i was doing bad but i said what i'm doing with my life you know i'm 32 years old if i keep doing this uh, what would be my future like i i feel I, I was feeling that i was wasting my time i said i haven't enjoyed really like i haven't traveled i haven't do any crazy stuff just because i was focusing on working 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 i said i gotta do something different so and i decide for the following uh, years do something different with my life and enjoy the time that i have now that i'm young that i'm thank god i'm healthy instead to spend my life uh, or, or, or wait to my to be to, for, uh, to be retired to then start traveling i mean that, that that's why what, what i thought and that's why i decided to go bad life because i have more freedom so i can stay wherever i want uh, i can stay there for how long i want and and so far i love it all right guys now welcome to my dining area slash office slash secondary bed this table goes down all the way down and i put the cushions in a way that one person can sleep in here so this countertop is in a um, uh, in a wall base so i take out this base this countertop goes down onto these tables here and that's how i make the secondary bed so the benches they are a uh, storage so below the cushions I have this box here that I can open and I have access to my shoes so my shoes are here here I have like my gym stuff I, I like to working out sometimes so I have my vitamins my pre-workouts and stuff and here on this one I have my personal products like my shampoos my conditioners and everything is uh, in these two bags here i don't like to have everything just going around in the in the drawer but yeah this is for my personal items so when when we did the construction and we finished the cabinet they were just plain and i wanted something like i said at the beginning i want i wanted the homey feeling on this conversion so i said what can i add uh, to make the cabinet look different and I decide to go with this uh, PVC this is a PVC material so I, I, I went with this PVC uh, wavy thing so to add some texture and more uh, detail to the cabinet so the same 
PVC um, texture is in all the cabinet around the, the truck. We wanted to have a privacy and security, so what we did is we split the driving area from the living area. So this door is just a door that you can lock from the two sides, and through this door you just get access to the driving area. One important thing here in Valentina that everybody knows on social media is Coquito. So I'm doing a solo travel, so this guy here, which is Coquito, he is a frog and he is my co-pilot. So he is the one that goes, that will go with me from Alaska to Argentina. Like I said at the beginning, I'm from Puerto Rico, so I would say this is like the, the main frog on Puerto Rico is the coqui. And I also put this hat, which is from Puerto Rico as well. So this frog, Coquito, is very unique and special for me. And that's why he is my co-pilot. So he is the one in charge of the directions on the Google Maps. So he is the guy. If I, if I get lost, this is the, the one in charge. Okay, this is one of the funniest part of my conversion. And it's this one, the best $20 I have spent in my life. You just hook it in here. Hook it in here. You come around this way or other way you sit down on front of a beach on front of a mountain and you just swing and this is part of van life this is what i love the freedom to have fun to enjoy and this is one of the best thing and, 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 and what i most enjoy of this conversion this swing here The transition to van life, honestly, eh, it has been also a process um, because first of all, you have to prepare yourself mentally and because it's a different lifestyle that you are not used to it. And then the, the thing that you have to handle more, I would say, is the, the what people say, you know? People will think you're crazy, people will think different stuff and you have to prepare yourself mentally. So coming out from a house and coming out from a regular life make you think, oh my God, I, I'm, I'm, I'm doing this right or is this, is this wrong? So it make you question yourself a lot of stuff. And I believe that's one of the first steps is your, your emotional uh, uh, things, you know, be, be, be ready emotionally for the, for the journey. This is my garage. So what I have here, first of all, is a water heater. So this water heater is propane. So I have outdoor shower. As you saw, I don't have indoor shower. Uh, so I wanted to at least have an outdoor shower. So this is my water heater. It's connected to uh, my outdoor shower. It's connected to a 20 gallon water tank. So from this 20 gallon water tank, I give water to my outdoor shower and also to my sink in the kitchen. Beside that, I have my gym equipment here, some tables. I have a kayak down there. Also, I have some light here. So if I need to look for something in the night, so I have my inflate kayak in there, some uh, winter jacket, some beach chairs here. Here I have the shower curtain. So if I need to set my shower and take a shower outside, what I just need to do is to put this uh, curtain here. So I do that and then to prevent the doors open, I just put this cable here from this side to this side. And I have my shower here. All right guys, so now welcome to my roof deck. So what we did here, we use fiberglass because of course it's waterproof. So everything in here is uh, waterproof. So we add these pieces of fiberglass. Uh, they, this is what normally people use in their patio to, to do their uh, deck. So this is the, 
the solar panels I was talking about. So they are uh, Renogy. They are 160 watt each, so I have two. So that means I have 320 watt of solars, which is what gives me the power to move everything on my truck. So this is what is connected to the battery that I show you, yeah, which is in my closet. And this is my solar system. So it's very simple, just the battery and two solar panels and with that I run all the electricity. All right guys, thank you for the opportunity. Like I said, my name is Eric, I'm from Puerto Rico and I'm traveling in Valentina, my converted truck from Alaska to Argentina. And if you want to follow the journey, you can add me on Instagram or Facebook or YouTube as Brujula Descompuesta. I'm pretty sure uh, it will be linked here in the description. So I will appreciate and, and, and I will be more than happy if you are with me in this journey. So thank you guys.